You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have two new faces for Greater Brockton. First, to my left, Kate Bowen from the League of Women Voters of Massachusetts. Plymouth, Massachusetts, okay, just making sure, and Vedna from the Haitian American Chamber of Commerce. I of got that right. Of Massachusetts, yes. Yes, okay. Absolutely. Okay, so your two organizations are going to team up on October 10th yes. at our magnificent Brockton Public Library downtown Absolutely. Mm -hmm. to host a debate for the candidates for mayor and for Ward 2 school committee. Yes. Because the library is actually physically located in Ward 2. Yes. So yes. the library is a community center. We have all sorts of different things going on there. Mm -hmm. and. Yours truly, who just got off the board after Excellent. 23 years, <laughs> wanted to make sure that political activity and free speech could happen there. We can't raise money in a public building, but we can certainly have discourse and conversation and people. It's an institution of learning. We have the People's University Absolutely. upstairs. Wonderful. So I'll start with you, Vedna. Okay. And then I'll try to lead it. We're going to do this for about 14 minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. And talk about how you first came up with the idea do the partnership to do this event? Um, well, uh, it was actually a conversation I did have with Kate. So I am a league member, mm -hmm. um, and um, in joining the league, I just loved their history in terms of civic engagement. And, um, and I am originally, I am a Haitian American. And so I just felt that um, Brockton being such um, a diverse city, I feel like there needs to be diverse um, uh, voices mm -hmm. in, in terms of this democratic process. So um, speaking with Kate, uh, I, we talked about how we could possibly, you know, collaborate and do a forum here. So. I, I know the League of Women Voters of Massachusetts mm -hmm. throughout the state is yes. very active. Yes doing forums and debates. I was fortunate enough to be asked by the League of Women Voters of Stoughton and Sharon mm. to moderate a couple of debates. Wonderful. Living in Brockton, they wanted someone who didn't have a horse in the race. Okay? Yeah, that is part of our principle is we can't have someone moderate um, that's from that community. Right. So um, how I got involved back in the day is my best friend's mother was the president of the Brockton chapter that existed back in the 70s. They wow. did incredible work. Mm. I have a booklet still to this day at home. This is Brockton, and it's oh, yeah. filled with all sorts of facts and statistics, mm -hmm. and that's what got me involved. I was like 12, and uh -huh. I met his mom, and I said, well, gee, how do I get involved? And you know, you're in high school. We, we, we had Jimmy Carter come and speak to Brockton High. We had wow. six presidential candidates come to Brockton in the 1975 year, okay. dating wow. myself. But yeah. six presidential candidates came to Brockton. Now, mm. they're not coming here right now. We've got to change mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But I think it had a lot to do with the league. And, and the, they, they used to do, I, I went to like all sorts of forums because I was learning. I was soaking up information. And they were there to provide it. So. That's probably why you're civically engaged. But even the league used to be the only people who were responsible for the presidential debates. And that stopped in the mid, um, I think it was Carter Dukakis. And yeah. the two candidates wanted to change some of the process. And the league felt as though that's not what we wanted. So that's when we stepped back. I think they would have been better off keeping it with the league, personally. We have I mean, the news, the news now, media but is good, but not as not unbiased partisan. and yes. nonpartisan. Uh, we just had a whole discussion in my speech classes today with the librarian about sources of information. And when I used to teach mass comm, fake news didn't exist as a term. Yeah. Everyone has a, some kind of bias, but yeah. league has always been fair and square in my book, yeah, just awesome. watching this all happen. So we have quite an election, okay? Yeah. Yes. It, it, you want to talk about diversity central, that would be Brockton. Yes. It always has been, it probably mm. always will be, and mm. that's a good thing. That's why I chose to raise my kids here and live here. Mm. I just moved to Bridgewater, but I'm still, I have one foot in and one foot out. Of course. Okay, but um, we have an established city councilor, president, running city council for 14 years, mm -hmm. and we have a brand new person who hasn't served in government. Yes 
diverse, Cape Verdean, mm -hmm. a planner. He works for the Old Colony Absolutely. Planning Council, so yes. certainly has experience. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 I think it's a historic election. Yes, okay. absolutely. Uh, Jimmy ran the last time. He came 1,100 votes away from Bill Carpenter mm -hmm. with no money. Right. Okay, so you're the first debate. Yes. There are going to be three of them. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so people should be educated. What do you, what, what type of a format is it going to be? How is it going to work? Because I'm just trying to figure out, because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna cover it. Yes. So how, I, I just, I'm, I'm asking yeah. selfishly to find out for us how... Our How forums it's tend to be relatively prescriptive. Yeah. Uh, we're limited. Um, if there's two candidates running and one is unable to come for whatever reason, we're unable to have an open chair debate. So, sadly enough, that first person cannot attend that was available. Okay. So, the other thing is, it's not necessarily debates. What we do is we take, um, and I'll give you the email address, it's on the flyers is we take questions from the audience beforehand mm -hmm. so we don't accept them on the day. And what we do do is we look at those and we vet them so they are not biased or attacking in nature. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, we present the same question to both candidates and mm -hmm. they have an option, opportunity to speak to that. Um, I think also what I'd like about it is that because we're nonpartisan, for me it's a very positive thing in light of what's happening in politics these days is um, we don't support candidates, but we do support um, other things outside that we, legislation and things like that. And we'll be addressing that at the forum as well. Yes. We'll have voter registration mm -hmm. from 12 o'clock to 5.30. And we also want to remind people that they can change their address or register to vote up until October 16th. It's 20 days before election. The other thing that we'll be doing, which is nice, is that we're going to have information on how to be a citizen lobbyist. So it'll talk about how to um, get to know your local and state legislators, how to understand the legislative process, not mm -hmm. to be intimidated by it, and how to talk to your legislator, legislator so they'll listen to you. So we'll be doing that. And then the candidates will be able to have their materials, but they will have to be outside of the room. Right. So we'll have a table outside. So probably, are we in the big room downstairs? Yes, yes. multi-purpose multi room. room. Okay, Absolutely. so that's the perfect place. And then you got the out, outer lobby outer they can lobby give they out can put the information. information. So let me just make sure I heard you right. So one of the candidates can't make it? No, we, on Ward 2 we can. We were hoping to use Ward in the future, if yeah. someone has an open seat, we can't have them. So she's saying, so um, the other the other wards were uncontested except for Ward 2 and Ward 3. Right. But if um, one of the candidates is unavailable, you don't, you then don't we do can't. don't do the empty chair. Exactly. We don't. We, don't, chair, we which don't do the empty chair. I don't like to ever do here. Mm -hmm. I've had people challenge us when we've done a debate here. Mm -hmm. Put an empty chair. I said, I really no. can't hold the debate that way. It yeah. has to be everybody, because we're actually a nonprofit. Okay, so nonprofits have to be incredibly careful how mm -hmm. they deal with political activity. Okay, we can't endorse either. Yes. Uh, NAACP at one point got challenged by the IRS mm -hmm. with their nonprofit mm -hmm. status for maybe getting endorse. a little too involved. Mm -hmm. They didn't endorse, but it came across like they were. So I the see. IRS said, uh, not if you want to keep your nonprofit status. Yeah. Yeah. So Both organizations, the Haitian American Chamber of Commerce, we do not do endorse um, mm -hmm. candidates. We are an impartial organization as well as obviously the league. Right. Yeah. We're a 501c4, and we do have a 501c3 organization that's the Sharfman. Right. Um, that allows us to give funding to local leagues so they can do educational forums. In mm. fact, uh, Lottie Sharfman is the person that we consider writing, um, coining the phrase, democracy is not a spectator sport. Right. Oh, mm. okay. Yeah. So we're lucky. You gotta have, have t-shirts that say that available <laughs> well, we at the event, right? <laughs> we gotta, you gotta, you gotta. That's why we made sure it was on our flyer. It <laughs> says democracy is not a spectator Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. We want people to be engaged. Yes. So I just got the five minute cue, believe it or not, so we've already really? talked for 10. That's amazing. Apparently. <laughs> um, I want to make sure I cover what you want to get across. So okay. Who wants to speak first? Go ahead. Okay. Um, I guess 
speak first in terms of like just what the organization no, does. No, anything so. you want to talk about so we can get it across in this segment. Oh, okay. So um, I guess just from our perspective, the Haitian American Chamber of Commerce, um, and why some people, the questions asked, why would a commerce be involved in a debate um, forum? But um, for people who are um, entrepreneurs and local business owners, we know that local government affects um, business. And so um, in order for us to allow our clientele and or the constituents um, uh, that we serve, we, uh, we have these opportunities mm -hmm. so that they can be part of this process, this democratic process. So that's um, that's part of um, some of our like value systems, mm -hmm. um, our missions mm -hmm. as being a league, or now I'm sorry, the league as well as the Asian American Chamber yeah. of Commerce. The Metro South Chamber of Commerce in, in this area uh -huh. has always been involved with forums and debates. So mm -hmm. it made perfect sense to me to okay. see the partnership. It, 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 it's just, right. You know, nowadays there are all sorts of different types of chambers of commerce. Yes. That didn't, I mean, a lot of the local, even though there's a Metro South that does 22 communities, there's a Stoughton Chamber of Commerce, there's an Eastern Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Now there's a Chamber of Commerce for pretty much everything. You guys do a lot of activities and, and I've seen uh, stuff in Randolph. Randolph has a, a presence with the chamber. I, Jean, I, I know. Gene that's a different, Bradley, yes. that's a different that, chamber. That's a cha different okay. chamber. Yes, okay. yes, well, yeah, yeah. But, but we have so even earlier this year, we actually did a um, we did the D five and um, the uh, uh, Boston City Council at large. Um, right. Right. So in February, uh, um, prior to actually people pulling the people that were of interest, we had a um, a ten panel forum. Nice. Um, so it was it was great. There was a. Um, a quite a bit of people that came out for it. And it just gave um, people the opportunity to kind of have a, um, a peek as to what this year was going to look like for mm -hmm. them in terms of these um, particular candidates. So I was happy to see the school committee included too, being a former yes. school committee yes. member. So that, cause that school committee people work really hard. And, yeah. Absolutely. And, and um, there are only two contested races. Like yes. you said, there are seven wards and only two of the wards have a contested yes. race. So it's, ni yeah. it, it's nice to see that that's included. Yeah. It's too yeah. bad the other candidate wasn't available in the to, other ward. To do it. Um, yeah. I've been told that that candidate is impossible to get a hold of. <laughs> yes. Well, okay. But I've seen signs, so okay. who knows. Okay. So yeah. let's go back to the league. I mm -hmm. think I have about two minutes left and I need I about think, 30 seconds okay. myself. I think what the takeaway is, and this is what's exciting, and we've met people from the other organizations too, is that we're really about process and empowerment, both yes. of our organizations. Absolutely. And there's many organizations who are also doing this. So what we're excited about is we want to make sure people get out and register to vote. The deadline is upon us. Mm -hmm. And if you've changed locations, your home or you're renting somewhere different, make sure you do that. The other thing is get out and vote. Um, we do advocacy collaborations with all sorts of organizations and make yourself aware. I mean, try and do your education. Um, and that's what we're all about is trying to get people out to vote mm -hmm. and, you know, and an advocate. informed vote. Yeah. An informed vote. So, exactly. Yes. And I think it's good. The candidates have all been incredibly receptive because mm -hmm. of that. So when we're done with the election, yes. I'm going to bring you both back. You okay. probably can each have a half an hour. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and we'll talk about the organizations and get people more in, in, involved. That and, would be wonderful. And I know we talked on the phone mm -hmm. a little bit about mm -hmm. maybe it's time to get League of Women Voters back in Brock. Yes. In, in this area. Because yeah. it's a city. It's, it's 100,000 yeah. people. Yes. Not on paper. We're going to work on that with the census, but <laughs> we'll see where it goes. And yeah. same with the Haitian American, American Chamber, Chamber of Commerce. Commerce. So thank you both for being thank here. Thank you for having us. Um, we really appreciate it. So just to remind everybody, October 10th, main library time is 6.30 p.m. Yes. And May 1st? Or we're, school we're, committee we're, first. We're, we're thinking about it. Yeah. you got to go thinking. and be surprised. Yes. yes. So go over to the Brockton Public Library. You're watching Greater Brockton. This is Mark Lindy. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.